Around the SEC. Brought to you by Precision Chemical and Equipment. Come check out our selection of Exmark, Yanzu Keys, and Dixon Zero Turn Radius Mowers. Located one half mile south of Segan on Airline Highway. The South Carolina Gamecocks. After benching starter Steven Garcia in the fourth quarter of their win over Vanderbilt on Saturday, Steve Spurrier said he's unsure who's going to start for the Gamecocks against Auburn this week. Quote, We'll put whoever out there we uh, who can help us win the game. Spurrier added there isn't a quarterback controversy that Garcia probably will start. But Garcia was 16 of 30, 228 yards in a score, but he did have a handful of questionable throws and forced four interceptions against Vanderbilt. Stay tuned. The Auburn Tigers. Five Auburn starters did not play Saturday in their win over Florida Atlantic. Gene Chizik says running back Ontario McCaleb and receiver Trevon Reed are now on the injury list as well. McCaleb and Reed both were hit hard in the fourth quarter. Chiswick said he did not know about their ability for Saturday's game against South Carolina. Uh, McCaleb, though, did meet with media after the game, perhaps signaling that his injury might not be too serious. The Kentucky Wildcats. Well, going from the program's most lopsided loss in almost three years to a date with the number one team in the country, that's leaving Joker Phillips with a sort of back-to-basics objective just continue to compete. Saturday's 48-10 loss to Florida was Kentucky's most lopsided loss since a 63-5 route at Florida back in 2008. Meanwhile, Joker Phillips did give an injury update on a handful of players. Safety Martavius Neelums does not have a concussion. Uh, Kentucky is going to recheck freshman running back Josh Clemens' sore hamstring the next two days and make a determination about uh, whether or not he'll play in Baton Rouge. And defensive tackle Mark Crawford might be back from suspension this week. How timely, being that they're coming down to Baton Rouge. The Vanderbilt Commodores. James Franklin admitted the break between games comes at a nice time for the Commodores. Larry Smith could certainly use the break. The quarterback was shaken up, left the game in the third quarter at South Carolina this Saturday. Also, tight end Brandon Barden and tailback Warren Norman, who have yet to play this season, should benefit from the time off as well. Franklin said he and his staff will use this week off to recruit, quote, We're going to recruit like crazy. We're going to be in a position here soon where we're going to have the advantage. You know what's crazy? I actually believe him. The Alabama Crimson Tide. And Trent Richardson has been named the SEC Offensive Player of the Week. Crimson Tide left tackle Barrett Jones has been named the league's Offensive Lineman of the Week. Both players were instrumental in leading Bama to their 38-14 win over Arkansas Saturday. Richardson had 21 touches for 235 yards. There you have it. That is around the SEC.